man you came to see. But I need to do a little vocal test. I need to hear your vocal cords. Are you ready for some Elvis? Are you ready for some Elvis? Black Rose Entertainment in association with TVB Productions is bringing you tonight an unprecedented double bill. Last Christmas we were here with our wonderful World of Christmas show, which you've probably seen advertised. We're coming back on December 7th. So if you enjoy yourself tonight, let's fill this place back up in December. On that note, tonight you're going to witness back to back two iconic concerts that Elvis put on. In 1968, after a 10 year hiatus from the public, Elvis Presley came out with the 68 comeback special, and you still can't hear me. How about now? <laughs> For some reason, I knew it. Let's try this again. How's that? You see, it's not me. 1968, after a 10 year hiatus, Elvis Presley came back to the public spotlight and put on a show that just put him right back on the map. Yeah, go ahead, give it up for the 68 comeback. It was amazing. Way back in uh, 1812, Myself and the boys uh, sang a song about going to jail. I'd like to do that for you right now. Hey folks, welcome back to live being here at Pickering Casino. We are doing an interview with Steve Michaels, manager, I can say that officially, you business partner that. and manager. You got both, you bet. Mark Irwin, thank you to come in. Uh, the show tonight is very creative. I'm just learning that uh, Steve Michaels, who is um, doing two shows, the 68 Elvis comeback special, and of course the 73 first live world video, 1973 Aloha from Hawaii, and uh, Mark has just uh, suggested to me, uh, and I didn't really think of it, but it's a wonderful point on the amount of work that went into doing the shows. And one of my questions, and I'm gonna start with this one right away. Hit me. How do you prepare for a two-era show. Well, I guess first and foremost, you know, the concept was put together uh, in the latter part of 2023 uh, after our wonderful World of Christmas show, knowing that Pickering Casino is a juggernaut. We got to give somebody, some people, everything we've got. And why not give them two of the most iconic concerts back to back? Because with just a few edits, we are actually doing both of these shows in their entirety. So, 68 Comeback, for example, was shot over a three-day period. Oh, I didn't know that. But it's barely over an hour show. Yeah, I did the, not know that. Yeah, so it's really interesting when people go out and get the DVD sets. They've got all these DVDs, but when you tally the show up, it's barely over an hour. Exclude the commercials and things yeah, like that. Yeah, that's what yeah, it yeah. is. Um, Aloha from Hawaii, there were some extra things thrown in. It's somewhere in the vicinity of an hour and 10 minutes. So we're able to give the people here at the casino both shows. But the planning, I'm learning the planning. Yeah. I'm not an artist, Yeah. I'm a broadcaster, but the planning must be huge. You're involved in the planning, I'm assuming. I'd like to say that I'm involved, but I'm telling you right now, I'm nowhere near as involved as Steve himself, who is, you know, his vocation, he went to to college and studied graphic arts. So he is in behind the scenes doing all of that. Um, 
the direction of the show is 100% Steve. The guy is just magical. Mm -hmm. um, his train of thought, and I think I, together we both have this mantra, is nothing can ever be okay. So the planning has gone on since December of last year for this show. Wow. Yeah. And it's a one night event or this, this tour is event is going on all over Canada or this is specific, maybe you can tell us that this is specific to Black Rose. Wow. And TVB. Wow. And if we want to take this bad boy nationwide, we will. Wow. But tonight it's the people right here. Tell us about ago. your relationship with Steve Michaels, how it started, where, where it is today. Yeah. Relief so, pitching. Um, yeah. Give it to me. Yeah. So, uh, I, I, an employee of mine more than 20 years ago came to my desk, threw down a pamphlet and said, your buddy's playing in town. Jokingly, I told him I don't have any buddies, but were who you, is it were anyway? You in the, were you in the no, industry? not at all. I'm, I'm a- Just a fan. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, Dean Martin, Elvis Presley, those yep. two guys are my guys. You I, know? Got you. And, uh, I got you, I got you. So anyways, I looked at this brochure and it was a picture of Elvis and I, I opened it up and I'm looking at this and I went, went back. I'm like, oh geez, it's not Elvis, but wow. And I, it was in Kitchener and uh, I booked uh, some tickets for Center in the Square and uh, I took my wife and you know, we're always let down by these types of things. So there was no expectation there, but we sat and here comes this young guy across the stage, opens his mouth and we're like, whoa, this is velvet. This was good stuff. And we found ourselves probably how did, you connect? How did you connect? In. Well, I gotta tell you, we were holding each other's hands for about two, three songs, and then on comes another song, and music brings you to a place. Yes. It we call it emotional giant... taste buds. Well, the emotional taste, what a great thing. And so what my wife and I saw was, you know, growing up, we grew up with Elvis Christmas music, and this yes. was the show that we were at. And so when we were thinking about, uh, you also think about the people that have gone in your life. And so, I look over at my wife, and she's looking at me. We both had tears rolling down her eyes. This man's music. Fast forward six, seven, eight years or so, I decided to email the email address wanting to promote some of his shows just financially through my own business. I wanted to sponsor it because I was looking at the demographics and going, this is right in my wheelhouse. These people have a bit of money. They can support my business as well. Maybe I'll throw him some money so I can be the grand sponsor of the shows. Nice. And it took about six weeks for me to get a response back. And I'm going, who is this guy? You know, he personally responded. Said, and I, let's meet. I found out. Yeah, let's meet. I found out. Interestingly enough, he was self-managed. He did his own thing. And I was blown away. Not a good idea by sometimes. The quality. Well, it got him to where he was. No, it meaning too many me. things to do. Yeah, well, you know, for sure. One thing led to another, and, you know, we were talking about a lot of things, and he just looked at me and he goes, okay, why do I think this is more than just putting, why do you, why do you know so much about the ins and outs of this entertainment? Oh, well, I'm a, I'm a professional boxing manager and I promote professional boxing. Mm -hmm. So it was one of those things that became, for me, it was, well, we have talent. So we have the, yeah, the you can't, fighters. You can't take a right? punch with that face. No, not that guy. <laughs> so we've got that. We've got him on stage. We've got fighters on stage. We've got the bums in the seats. We've got the venue. Now it's just entertainment aspect of it. One thing led to another. He was about to go off to, uh, English, uh, to England, and he said to me, manage me. And I'm like, no. I've got this boxing going on. I've got my full-time career. And I have a wife at home that's just going to kill me if I go ahead and do that. Anyways, Credits for you. Uh, nonetheless. So what was the spark? What made him say it? How many years have you been together? Since Roughly. 2011. So, so 12 ish. 13, yeah. 13. About 13 years. So ago. after 13 years, you must know you've asked the question. I know it. We got one more question after this, mm. but I want to hear this because sure. you've got my attention. Sure. You must have said, why did you ask me before he left for England? You had to, I don't mean that night. But in the 13 years, you, because that's a wonderment question. Would Why you, did you say you that? You know what? I, I'm going to tell you something that is. Um, I asked for the heart. Yeah. 
This is, this is truly believable because Frankie Valley had very similar circumstance with his career. Him and um, I believe his name is uh, was Bob Gordy, something on those lines. Yeah. They had a handshake deal from day one. Steve and I have had that bro hug, that handshake. Unbelievable. We've Old never, school. We've never asked each other anything other than this is a feeling and we got to do this and we owe it to the audience and let's just continue to grow. Final question. Yeah. And we're running out of Hit time. Me. My yeah. producer's giving me the okay. wind up. All right. Advice in the industry. Music industry's tough. Getting started's tough. Tip of the day, your advice. What is your advice to somebody coming up? A person, an artist, male, female, what is your advice to keep going yeah. or what? Well, you know what? I would say to any young person that would like to emulate Elvis, in, from that perspective, yes. be true. Do not imitate the imitators. Be true Good comment. to Good, Elvis. Good comment. Yeah. I like it. Have to be pure, right? Um, in terms of other artists, I'm very, very fortunate to, to know um, a young brother-sister duo called the Recklaws. They just actually appeared on America's uh, Got Talent the other night. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, they posted the Junos. They're CCMA award winners. These kids are flying. They have been grounded from day one. And I think that that is of, of utmost importance. Never forget where you started. Wow, what a comment to end with. Folks, we've been with Steve Michaels, partner and business manager and somewhat, I'm assuming, a promoter in some cases. Yeah, too, we promote. Working with uh, Mr. Black Rose Entertainment, yes. who's got his hawking eye on me still. He is there watching. I'm the BMD. You've been listening to Meet the Band, another segment we've started behind the scenes. We are live here at the Pickering Casino. Over and out, everybody stay tuned. Because you know what? Uh, it is like a TV show. If you don't get it right the first time, you get to do it again, and you get it again and again. So this whole show is on repeat. <laughs> now you're thinking to yourself, did they do that on purpose? Yes, we did, because it's exactly what the studio audience saw. So you're here for the six-day comeback, and we're going to give you exactly what they had, and that was a couple takes, after take, after take. You never know. And then and now you can also turn around, and then at this, at this point, Big guy like someone's going to come out there and say, Ladies and gentlemen, and when Elvis walks out on stage, you go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, when Elvis walks out on stage, you go. <laughs> That's it. Too bad he's not here. But, okay. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> when Elvis walks on the stage, come on. Let's use our minds. So let's do blue suede shoes first and then we'll go back and do that 68 minute, okay? <laughs> Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. You know me, I'm the BMD host of Meet the Band on Rogers Television Network everywhere. And we are doing a Zoom call today with an artist with the name of Kerry Burnett. We're going to introduce him and you to what's it all about with Carrie today. By the way, happy Father's Day. We're doing a special recording and you are looking fabulous for the part. I'm feeling good vibes and that's a good thing to do. Good morning, sir. Welcome to the show. Good morning, sir. It's so great to see you. I'm a big fan of yours and uh, I welcome this opportunity just to get myself out there, you know. Well, that's what we're all about, bringing artists to the people of the world, I'm the BMD, host of Rogers Television. Welcome to have you here. Let's start off. Give us a bit of your background, culture, and your heritage. Well, I tell you, I've been in music pretty much my whole life in one way or another. I, uh, I started it when I was eight years old, asked my parents to send me to the Royal Conservatory of Music 
just to learn how to play the trumpet. I want to learn how to play the trumpet. Herb Alpert was, I was a big fan back then, you know, Me that too. Me too. album. Oh my goodness. Right. So, uh, I learned how to play the trumpet, you know, and, uh, from there on, I just kept in with music. I really enjoyed it. Even now let me family- just, let me just jump in there for a second. I want, cause I'm spontaneous. That's what the, that's what the viewers love. I want you to do a quick mouth version of this. Ba 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 If people want to connect with you after seeing this show, this segment, give us your social media IDs. My social media IDs are KDB Live Music on Instagram, on KDB Live Music at gmail.com. And Carrie Burnett on YouTube. Well, sir, I've had a wonderful chat with you. Felt in a short time, got to get to know you. Questions were good. Responses were good. And you were good, ultimately. Thank you so much, sir. Folks, you've been listening to Meet the Band. I'm the BMD, your host. And we've been with singer-songwriter Carrie Burnett. Glad to have you. Hope to see you again. And we will catch up. Have a great Father's Day. Thank you very much, sir, and same to you. Have a great day. You're listening to Meet the Band with me, the BMD. I'm coming to you with a music video showcase. Stay tuned. The pocket full of gold I've been out here now On my own well, It's real quiet here Just the way I like it here There's no one to bother me Except In 1955 Born into a dealer's pride I laid my head on that milk and creek bed When I was a young man I helped build this land Oh, I put down these rails As a CPR man You're back on Meet the Band with the BMD. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm the BMD from Rogers Television Network, and that is Channel 10 in the Durham region. We're here doing our monthly show with Scott Templeton, owner, operator, and partner with a partner, his lovely wife, Hopefully she can come on one day. And that is Black Rose Production, Black Rose Entertainment, Black Rose everything. We're here. We're live here at the Pickering Casino uh, just before uh, a show with Steve Michaels, uh, the international tribute Elvis star. Uh, We'll be on the stage tonight. But before we do that, we always do Scott's Corner. We developed this with Scott, who's been gracious to take the time to come on the show. And by the way, the show is Meet the Band, but this is a new series that Scott's involved with called Behind the Scenes. And we take you in as the audience, the listening, viewing audience, behind the scenes on the setup and see what happens before the live show. Scott, welcome back again. I know it was a mouthful, but I got to ask, you're feeling better? Because last time oh, yeah. you were a little under the weather. Can you give us a health status? Uh, I'm, I'm 100% now. I've, I've got most of my voice back. Yeah, I'm so, hearing that. I'm hearing. Um, and you're smiling. And I'm smiling. Well, you I'm weren't smiling, smiling that day. You no, were a little under day. the weather. Was, and by the way, you're like, dressed beautifully in a summer leisure. Like after this interview, you're going to the beach or are you sticking around? Oh, no, we're sticking around. These are the shirts that I'm now wearing for all productions, all shows that we're doing. Going Excellent. Uh, so, show everywhere. Scott's Corner, we're here with finding out what's happening in Black Rose Entertainment's world, what's coming up, what's hot, 
What can't you not touch? It's so hot. Well, uh, we just came back actually from Chatham last night. We had the production of Grease, which we are going to have here at the casino on uh, August 22nd. Grease the concert and the music of the 50s, 60s will be here. And then on September 22nd, or 21st, sorry, we changed the date here at the casino, uh, we have Jersey Nights, which is a production of Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons. A little further down the road, we have Forever Seeger. They're in uh, Vegas right now. They're going to be coming back to perform on the stage here at the Pickering Casino. Uh, they are the definitive Bob Seeger tribute band. Um, and then we're going to do our Christmas show with Steve Michaels. We have the wonderful world of Christmas coming back here on December 7th. And then at the end of the month, December 20th, we have the Divas coming on. That's the Divas of Celine Dion, Tina Turner, Cher, and uh, I'm trying to remember the last one. It'll um, come to you. It will. Um, no, Shania Twain. Shania Twain. Shania Twain. So it'll be a, just a fantastic production. This weekend alone, we're, we have uh, we had last night Greece. Uh, How did that sell? That. Did big movie, good. big Broadway. How did it sell out for you? It was good. It was about 400 people, first time in Chatham mm -hmm. and at the Kiwanis Theater. It was a great show. It's always great to go in for the first time. Then when you go back, you build the numbers up. It's, it's You know what to do, what to fix, and you go forward with it. And tonight, not only do we have Steve Michaels, 68 Special in Low Air tonight. How is he managing that? I, like a double show in one it's, night? It's a double show. You get the first half, 68 Special, second half, Low Air. You have... Which is great because that'll lead us into all the other shows that are coming up this year with Steve Michaels and the same team who you'll find out when you talk to Mark. So he's pretty popular on oh, Black popular. Rose Entertainment. Oh, yes. We have uh, just the wonderful world of Christmas alone. We have five shows with him next year. And then we have, I believe it's uh, four other shows that we do. We spot it out through the year. Um, but this week, and we also have Avamania and Night View. Wow. Which is at the Regent Theater, and it's sold out 609 seats. Now, I'm talking about bringing that here to the casino probably in uh, 2026. So it'll be a really good night fever is Bee Gees, by the yes. way. Abomania and Bee Gees tribute. Hey, I'm here tonight. My kids bought me tickets for the Father's Day tonight uh, with the Elvis show. So That's, I'm very excited well, about that. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. You saw, I, th I think you, you saw the show in... At the Regent Theater. Yes. And uh, wait till you see this one. This, is, this will blow you away. I can't figure out how he's going to be doing two, uh, Lucas, <laughs> in, in one night. It's a lot of changes. Well, <laughs> listen, it's been great having Scott Templeton with us right here live at Pickering Casino. It seems to be one of his new PlayStations. Is, is that going to be a video game? That could be. Scott's we, videos? We could turn it into one. Okay, listen, thanks for popping in. Hope you enjoyed this segment of Scott's Corner. I'm the BMD, host of Meet the Band and Behind the Scenes with the BMD. Next time. Okay, hello. Uh, here we are in uh, beautiful, sunny downtown Schwal Rock City uh, in the Music District. And uh, in July, we got a lot of interesting things. A lot of shows coming up, but one I think of the most interesting things is a development uh, over at Bond Street um, events. Uh, in the 222. What they are doing on Tuesdays now is because school's out, uh, they're doing all ages shows on Tuesday nights. So it's kind of like a band social. So you got a whole bunch of young musicians, don't seem to know each other, all hang out, get to know each other, jam together, build bands, play bands, all that sort of stuff, which is, I think, is kind of cool. Um, so that is one thing that I think even the older musicians in town should be supporting to get out there and mentor and coach these kids. And, uh, and let's see what the next generation is going to be doing. And, uh, and also, just to sort of piggyback on that too, we're also doing our schools out uh, here at Cops Records uh, on Wednesday afternoons, um, four till six, we're having matinee shows. Uh, the first band is going to be July 3rd, which is Narima. Uh, and uh, then on the 10th, we've got Incoming Sun. Uh, and then we'll have like a whole bunch of other bands. So once a week, uh, here in the shop um, and I think that's kind of like interesting for what we're doing obviously lots and lots of shows happening to build more of the region which you can find out but uh, but the idea is that we're leaning into uh, providing opportunities for the young kids the young musicians in this town 
is a pretty big development. So yeah, Shaw Rock City, there you go. We, um, okay. Thank you, good night. <laughs> what am I, this thing is just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna have to stop. Don't even worry about it. The, um, at this point in the, uh, the show, ladies and gentlemen, Elvis Presley was talking about when the YMCA or the PGA thought he was something. And that night in Florida, and all he could do was move his little finger like that, right? This thing is just not uh, cooperating with me tonight. And um, that's the craziest thing. I better go before it starts on me, before we... This thing's gonna go, man. What's that? It's doing something. I feel like I'm gonna be taken off in a second. Yeah, Kirk. <laughs> Folks, the BMD here on my show, Meet the Band. If you or your group would like to be a guest on the show, email us at thebmdpodcast at gmail.com. See you then.